What was that noise? I mean, the amount of paranormal activity I've been subjected to... Eh, you know what? I no longer get up to investigate strange noises. At this point in my life, I'm just like, eh, it's whatever. Not wasting any time today, so we're gonna jump right into today's Dollar Tree haul. I've actually been looking for these mugs for a while and I'm still looking for the plates as well. I should have gotten them as soon as they were released because I feel like I might not see the full set again, but it's when Dollar Tree put out the navy and red set. So I did find two of the navy cups. I love that they're lined with the white because then they have like the red one like this, but it's like fully red, which is really nice too. I love that. This combination is so pretty. And somebody tell me why when I just looked at this, I thought of don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. I probably need to explain that, but I think the reason why I thought of that movie is when she goes in to like create the new line for the clothing company or whatever, and she gets all like the different colors and puts them together. Anyways, that's the plates as well. I have, I think, a couple sets of the blue and the red, but I wanted two more of each. So hopefully I'll be able to find it. If not, I'm probably going to look online to see if I can complete that because I want these for 4th of July. And if you're new to my channel, I always talk about how if you really love shopping at Dollar Tree, the best way to really maximize and utilize the store is to think ahead if you do love also decorating for the seasons because this store gets picked over very quickly. So I did get four of the red and I was definitely thinking of Pie Safe. I was thinking of my butler's pantry, which both of those areas I just re newly decorated. I'll link those videos down below in case you want to see because I did use like Dollar Tree mugs, but they're just white and standard for my everyday decor, but I'm going to be switching those out for the um, red and blue ones for 4th of July. Now, speaking of 4th of July, my stores are starting to put some of the stuff out. I haven't seen a full display at all yet, and honestly, I don't, I don't even think that they've done very much because all I have seen are these two decor signs that they hung up and they had like boxes out waiting. So they're probably in the process of, you know, creating the whole uh, 4th of July collection. So these signs are brand new, 2021, new designs, bold stripes, bright stars, and brave hearts. And then this one is very pretty too, very farmhouse. We get the US map here with the flag, home of the free because of the brave, absolutely. I also picked up these really cute gingham plates and napkin set. They have like a whole uh, barbecue display. Dollar Tree has always had like a barbecue section. They sell a ton of really cute items. Not too long ago in a haul, um, maybe last week or something, I showed you guys the mustard and ketchup containers. Super adorable. So I just wanted to get these because I thought it would be fun, you know, when I grill out burgers or hot dogs and steaks and things like that. Um, these will be really fun for that. So, uh, very excited that it's summertime. Is it summertime? Not officially, but you know, we're getting there. I also found these koozies, super cute. And I'm gonna throw up a picture so you can guys can see the other color options. I did go for more of like the um, red and blue for 4th of July as well. So that navy is beautiful. And then I got a black one because I just, I love black, like all the accessories. And then I found two that have some words on it. The more people I meet, the more I love my dog. Honestly, absolutely hilarious. And it is um, printed on both sides. And then this one is hysterical. That's a horrible idea. What time? Really funny. Love that. And I love the font, love the, like the, the switch up of it so koozies um but yeah they had like pink and i think purple and like a tealy green or something they had a lot of other options to choose from so i was just trying to like limit myself to just those and then i did find another one of these folders it was recently in a haul and i mentioned that i was going to be on the lookout see if i could snatch some more and i did well, only this one um, but i think i'm going to stop at that i think just two will be good but anyways, they're really cool because they have like little folders within the folder. 
And then I found this, oh, this bag is everything. Look how beautiful it is. And the handle is sheer and also perfection as well. Another item is this, um, what, are they, what do they call these? Touchless keys. Um, yeah, really interesting. I actually hauled a bunch of them like a, about a couple months ago, but they had like, they were more acrylic and they had like prints on them, but this is like a brass key. So, and you can do all the things. You can like open doors, you know, touch keypads, all kinds of things, touch monitors and things like that. So um, this would be a cool item for like a care package, gift basket, you know, all the things. So that's really fun. And then, oh my gosh, this is actually a huge haul. I completely forgot how big this was. I found some jelly bath bombs made by Crayola. Very cool. I did get every, they only had two, I think, to the collection. Um, use two or more for Max Jelly. Wow. I'm kind of intrigued. What do they mean by jelly? I wonder what that... I wonder what that's like and I wonder if these smell like anything maybe it, pro it probably says it but I'm not entirely sure but anyways you get three bath bombs to a package and I also picked up some more um, word hunts because I think they just released these new covers so if you follow my channel you follow my Dollar Tree hauls then you know I love getting the puzzles from Dollar Tree the coloring books from Dollar Tree so and if you're new, you'll see a lot of this um, in the upcoming videos. But I always try to pay attention to the background because they always put, do new designs. And I definitely feel like these are new and I haven't shown them to you guys. I showed you like strawberries, coffee beans, uh, one that kind of looked like jeans, like jean material. So this one looks like chocolate. And if I did haul this one, I'm really sorry that I forgot. Listen, horrible memory. But this one has a coffee print, which is really cool. The puzzles should be new. They should not be the same. And each puzzle um, has like its own theme, as it should. I mean, just the way that, you know, a word hunt is done. And then we have this one, which, I don't know, it just looks like charred wood. Kind of very farmhousey, wouldn't you say? And then I love that they add the coffee. So that's why these, you see how they all have the coffee? Yeah, they all have their own unique. And then this one looks like flower petals, roses maybe. And then this one looks like just gold glitter. I don't know if I've already hauled this one or not, but these three I, I feel like are definitely new. So anyways, super awesome. Love that we're seeing like the coffee mug come back, but each background is different. I'm loving that absolutely here for it. I also picked up some new crayons, which I thought were really cute. The packaging's really sweet. So let me show you guys what I found. So we've got Frozen and then Mickey Mouse, which Mickey Mouse is probably my favorite. Super cute. And you can see that the crayons have like the design on it. And then we've got Trolls. Absolute darling. And then the last one is Wonder Woman. I also really love Wonder Woman. I think I go back and forth between um, that and Mickey Mouse. So these are new. I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before. And then it does show you like an up close shot of each crayon too. Like how awesome and unique is that? That would be really cute. Like for a care package, my daughter loves Wonder Woman. You know, I could pull these out because they also have these Wonder Woman um, pens. What? How amazing is that? And I'm willing to bet that there's probably more Wonder Woman stuff. I just kind of need to be on the hunt. And I'm loving the pastels too. This would have been perfect for my Dollar Tree pastels haul. If you missed it, I'll link it down below. Um, loved that haul. I also found some new metallic markers. I kind of fully expected to find more, but these were the only two packages that I um, found. And I love when they do anything metallic. Usually the quality is actually pretty good. Um, this is the ink line at Dollar Tree, which is really good. So I'm gonna add that to my craft collection. 
Oh, I forgot. There was another one. LOL dolls. I didn't realize that. But yeah, so that total of five. And I remember, I did get every single crayon, like, style that I saw. So there were five options. And I also found some really cute ribbon. Um, at first I was passing them by, but then I was like, no, they, you guys have to see how cute this is. And then I thought, you know what? After I show them to you, my niece would love to play with these. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let her have them. But look at this cute little rainbow set. What? Absolutely darling. Like, this one looks like a little like galaxy theme. Very pretty, also new. I picked up this really random eraser, but I just thought it was so freaking adorable. It's Jot, love Jot, but I probably have hauled this eraser before. You never know with me, okay? So there we, there you go. I also scored some really cute notebooks and journals, so if that's a favorite item of yours to shop at Dollar Tree, let me put you on these because, oh my gosh, how cute is that? The brand is Jot. I mean, you know, it's my favorite. And I love the way that they packaged it. Um, but I feel like it's probably some type of faux leather. I'm going to just open this up so that I can let you guys know what I think. Yeah, it, it's just, there's this stitching here on top. So it's an additional layer. I think that's nice. I think it makes it look more dimensional, I guess you could say. And then it's just a sweet little plain notebook. So we've got the unicorn. And then we've got, I don't know, is that like a pug? I don't know. Comment down below. But love love those. I do feel like there's more to this collection. Um, I know Jot. Jot usually puts out more than this. But I don't know. Comment down below and let me know if I am missing something from this little journal collection. And then I found these, which are so hilarious. I can definitely tell that they made these kind of like either... They designed them either like at the end of 2020 or beginning of 2021. I'll, I'll show you why I say that. So, <laughs> this one, for example, says hopes, dreams, and video calls. I don't know. I just feel like this, you know, is a product of 2020, I guess you could say. I like the cheetah print with the gold foil. Very pretty, actually great color combinations just a plain little notebook and these are pretty good they're 60 sheets also jot this one says good vibes i love the colors very tie-dye super cute you can see that this one has like an iridescent glow to it love it and then here's another one things i can't say during a video call you know what let's play a little game Comment down below of things you can't say during a video call. And I'm just, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what you're going to say. Because I swear, you guys are the funniest people. Um, and then this one says zooming. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> uh, there's a little, like, tear. Is that a sticker? Or is it a tear? No, it's a little sticker. So I, good, I can peel it off. How did I not notice this in the store? Um, listen, don't, don't ask me this. But zooming. I mean, you try to tell me this wasn't like, you know, designed after the stay at home thing. But anyways, so I like this one because I like the grid line of the gold foil. Really cute, but look at Dollar Tree go. I absolutely love those. And then saving the best bag for last, I found more hair accessories. But first, let me show you guys a new hat. I've been buying several hats from Dollar Tree lately. I'll throw up a picture because they did have other options, but I didn't like them. I definitely love this black. This black is everything. Um, I love jogging, running outside, so I'll definitely wear this one for that. Get some good air in here. This also has, I wouldn't say this is like a dry fit material, quite like you know, like the way Nike does it, but it definitely does have some type of athletic -y fabric to this, whatever it is. So I'm going to have to put like a scrunchie. That's how I um, train my bills, I guess you could say. So they're kind of curved because I do not like them like that. I like them like this. So that's how I do it. I just take a scrunchie and then it just will hold like this and I'll leave it there for a couple of days. But this is an absolute epic find for me for a dollar because 
I'm a hat girl, so I am so stoked about this hat. I just wish there were other solid colors like this one. Um, cause the other one, I think the other ones, I think had like a color blocking thing going on. And then, uh, a few hauls ago, I showed you guys that Dollar Tree put out a new hair accessories line. It has the Dollar Tree logo and everything, but the label is completely brand new. It's this blue label right here and it says active right there. And I found these elastics and I was just like, what? You guys, this is like Lululemon level style for me. And have you ever, listen, have, don't get me started, but have you ever walked into Lululemon and looked at their hair accessory prices? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. But what? These are fabulous. I wish you could reach through the screen and feel this, but I'm telling you, write these down on your list. I mean, I can just tell, obviously, I have not put them in my hair yet, but I can tell by feeling alone. I wear elastics all the time, so I feel pretty safe in telling you guys that these are just gonna be absolutely amazing. And look at this color right here. Probably a very trendy color. Love that beige. And then, why didn't I get another one? I don't know, but you know I'm dying over this black one. And then we've got a blue set as well. I'm gonna have to like do a collection video of hair accessories. I don't know, thumbs up if you want me to. And maybe I'll throw it on like a Thursday when I normally don't post. And I'll show you guys like the whole set of everything together. Um, Cause right now I didn't think about it. It's in another room, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then they also had, hold on. They also did these scrunchies, three of them. In black which I actually love and the material is really interesting it's really soft but again it's marked as their active collection so love that and then these are also very exciting head wraps I've never been so excited for hair accessories in my life but look at this one so this one's just plain black love it and i have crazy flyaway baby hairs damaged hair right and like i guess this is the crown right so like right in this area so this will help me to keep those back for the days i don't wear hat actually i always wear a hat because i don't have anything overly athletic i have some things from dollar tree but they're not quite this thick and then this one is also black but i wanted to show you guys that it has this detail to it you see that little ruching or like what? It's like a knot, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what you would call that, but you can tell this one does not have that whatsoever. And then I found the matching blue. This one does not have the knot either, but I'm willing to bet there's a blue one that does. I um, have no idea if there's other color options, but uh, I'll tell you this. I'm going to be on the hunt for it and I will report back to you. Okay. And then I found this little set. Um, it's just the typical brand. So this is the brand label that I typically see that falls under Dollar Tree because it has their look, their information on the back. But um, look at this little set. It's like a silk satiny blue tie dye or marbleized. I, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's like on the, I don't know. What do you guys think? Marbleized or do you think tie dye when you see this? But how cute is this one? Absolutely gorgeous. Very feminine, very girly, but you could also dress down too. You could wear a white tee, some high-waisted jeans, or however you're doing it, some jeans, some sandals, put this in your hair. Oh, adorable. And then the scrunchie, you get two. One is like a pure um, steel looking color, gray color. And then I got the matching headband. So I'm telling you, do not sleep on the Dollar Tree hair accessories because that's where it's at. So I am just so freaking excited about this, um, but I'm just telling you this is just for a dollar. That's it, folks, that's it. But anyways, that's it for this haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel a lot. And it also helps me to continuously provide all of these videos to you guys. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time, bye.